I once made a video called, Bro, please think critically about influencers, and if this girl doesn't immediately raise questions in you, it's time to go outside. Hey everyone, it's Dakota Sage, welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about Instagram model Gracie Bond. Gracie Bond is a plus size influencer and Fashion Nova brand ambassador from Panama, and she gained a lot of attention due to her one of a kind figure. Even though she kind of complains about people talking about her body, it's very obvious that she's capitalizing off of her assets. She has 6.8 million followers on Instagram and works with a very popular fast fashion brand, as well as having a personal subscription service. So yeah, it's pretty safe to say that she's making money off of her body. Most of her content is showing off her body and or outfit, but she also makes a lot of videos where people are just looking at her out in public. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn. And I'm not gonna lie, I'd probably look too. It's like seeing someone that's seven feet tall, it just draws attention. But in case it took you this long to notice, Gracie is editing her content. Though I would argue, not in the way that most people expect. The woman is no stranger to Facetune, the blurring filter is very prominent. Gracie is also, of course, using body modification filters. But the thing is, most of the time she's using them to slim her waist and you can see the filters glitching in videos to prove it. I'll be honest, I don't really think that she's faking the size of her ass, or at least not editing it enough for it to really make that much of a difference. Do I think she's gotten surgeries? I think that she probably had liposuction in her stomach as well as getting filler and Botox. The way I never looked at the camera and said this woman has a BBL is driving me insane. <laughs> She kind of reminds me of the Kardashian like BBL running game that I used to get ads for all the time. <laughs> the truth about Gracie is that she is obese. She just happens to carry the weight in a desirable place. And I'm not here to body shame her and I'm not a doctor. Specifically, I am not her doctor and I can't diagnose her, but usually carrying that much weight in a specific area is a pretty bad sign. So, as is common with a lot of obese people, it's possible that she has lymphedema in her butt and legs. Lymphedema is a condition where the lymphatic system is unable to drain liquid from certain areas of the body, so they oftentimes retain water in certain areas. It's very common in obese people, but it can also be caused by other diseases or just any damage to the lymph nodes. Lymphedema itself is usually not fatal, but it can lead to infections or other problems that can do a lot of damage. I don't think that Gracie Bond has lymphedema. I was just trying to give like a natural explanation of why she might look like that. I actually think that she was just obese to begin with and then she got liposuction taken out of her stomach and into her butt like with a BBL. And she probably photoshops her waist too and kind of all that together created the Gracie Bond that we know today. And I'm not saying that Gracie can't post content while being obese or having medical conditions. It's just the way that she goes about it. Whenever I make a video about beauty standards, I always get men in my comments saying, it's not us. And they're right, it's the beauty industries trying to take advantage of people's insecurities. But one thing that people need to realize is that a lot of these influencers are posting pictures for validation, including validation from men. But for Gracie in particular, I don't think that she's making content to try to sell a product or make other people jealous of her. Likewise, she's not making the typical plus-size content where she tries to make other people more comfortable in their bodies. There are two people that Gracie is targeting her content towards. One is people like me who can't believe what they're seeing and give her attention. The other is men. But not all men, of course, because men are people and a lot of people look at her and can tell that something is wrong. Gracie is catering to a very specific group of men who like a very specific type of thing. Yes, I believe that Gracie is posting fetish content. There are few things worse on the internet than this type of content, especially when you're watching a video and you're like, what the hell, and then boom. It hits you in the face why this video is made, who it's for, and you are forced to acknowledge that every day we stray further and further from God's light. From her videos, it's obvious that Gracie is trying to draw attention to the movement of her assets, whereas influencers that target women try to draw attention to their firm, strong butts. Because influencers targeting women are often trying to sell diet or exercise plans, and Gracie is targeting men trying to sell her personal subscription service. 
I'm not gonna lie to you, the worst part might just be that she makes a lot more money than I do. I always tell people to go touch grass in my videos, and honestly, I feel like I need a wilderness retreat. This was a rough one. And again, I'm not trying to body shame Gracie Bond, but people need to realize that she's not the typical influencer posting videos trying to make people jealous of her. She's posting these videos for one reason and one reason only. But that's it for today, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, have a great rest of your day.